There's no reason to take any medication before being vaccinated. It won't prevent any potential vaccine reactions. Afterwards, if you have pain or swelling at the injection site, low-grade fever, or just feel unwell, it's okay to take Tylenol or ibuprofen. They won't interfere with developing immunity. You definitely cannot get coronavirus from any of the approved vaccines. Uh, there, there's no live virus in any of these vaccines. Johnson & Johnson vaccine is made from killed virus. So there's nothing live to replicate and create illness once it is injected in you. And the other two vaccines aren't even using any part of the virus. They're using the protein shell to create their immunity against the virus. Minor pain and swelling at the vaccination site are the most common. Also frequently we see a low-grade fever, less than 100 degrees Fahrenheit, muscle aches, or sometimes a flu-like feeling that's indicative of activation of the immune system. More serious reactions occur rarely, but can include severe allergic reactions and high fever. No, they are not experimental. The two newest vaccines made by Moderna and Pfizer are actually the culmination of at least a prior decade of research and development. Speed of development was really a result of the government's guarantee to pay for millions of doses that were manufactured regardless of whether or not companies received regulatory approval. This took a huge financial weight off of the manufacturers. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine was produced using traditional vaccine technology. So there was really nothing new about this vaccine in regards to the, its science or the manufacturing behind it. These vaccines were all uh, created, and manufactured uh, with the strictest of, of regulations and oversight. Every time it infects another person, it starts replicating. There's potential for mutation or mistakes uh, in the viruses. There's always the opportunity for new forms of the virus to be created inadvertently. Uh, with a, a swift and a comprehensive vaccination program, uh, there are fewer opportunities for new variants to develop. Uh, and our, our concern with these variants is that at some point, one or more of these variants may not be protected by the current uh, vaccines that we have. Uh, this is why it's important to, to immunize people, as many people as possible, as swiftly as possible. Anyone with a recent case of COVID-19 either test positive or with classic symptoms within the last three to six months should consult their physician before getting vaccinated. Pregnant women, anyone with a history of anaphylaxis or severe allergic reaction to anything, and anyone with a severe reaction to the first dose of a two-dose vaccine should consult their physician before getting vaccinated. Number one, the first available vaccine is the best. The important goal here is herd immunity. Second, all three approved vaccines are safe and effective. Minor side effects can occur and are treated symptomatically with over-the-counter medications. Major side effects occur more rarely should be seen by a doctor or in the ER and should be brought to the attention of the vaccine provider. And finally, 
it's much safer to get vaccinated than not. Please know that if you have a question or concern about COVID-19 or getting your vaccine, First Stop Health doctors are here for you 24-7. Just get the app, log in online, or give us a call to get connected to a doctor in minutes.